why the boy is here. Last of the Samurais. Yeah. The first soup uh, can Kevin up. ever made is this one. That was oh. it. This is how it started. And then I changed to that. That day, and I did. You, you see them yep. on the clothesline. Yep, yep. They've been yep. everywhere. In fact, I snuck them into the moment. They've actually physically touched Warhol soup. Oh. There we go. So they've been everywhere. They've been inside the Twin Towers. They've been in the ocean. Oh. They've been everywhere. They've been everywhere. They're laying by the soup cans. Here now. they are on the. So they made the cabin now. In the real world. On my driveway, tell Gary I'll go And they're getting ugly. Oh. So no, no, you know, it's totally total them out. It's like. Uh, it wasn't the Utah ass or atomic rain. It's when I laid them in the ocean on you know, Ocean Beach in San Francisco. Uh, that'll wash them. When I made them look like they were sea turtles oh. coming up salty. out of the thing. Uh -huh. I, I did. I folded them up in this thing and made it, and they looked just like sea turtles laying in the freaking sand. <laughs> cool. And I put them in. When I originally did them, I tacked, up, tacked them up with red and white thumbtacks on the wall. In my bathroom, they're really pristine on this really light pink bathroom. You paint them on the board, like you paint them on the board. Oh, I painted them on the floor in my bathroom. Oh. I use soup can. I actually, and I use this. They're painted with soup. Right. They're painted with tomato soup. And, yep. and I use the soup can in the center. The nuclear reactors are actually soup cans. Those are nuclear the reactors. The circles. The circles. Yeah, and every one of them, in spirit with the natives, every one of them's got the Big Dipper in it. Now I'll have the Big Dipper. See, let me show you this. Let me explain. Let's go. Now people can't get it. These are all nuclear reactors. Everyone, now there's one right there that doesn't have a nuclear reactor. That's our hope. That's what it's supposed to be. The yellow, the sun. But anyway. This is the one right there. In spirit with the natives, because they get it, I put the, that's the big dipper mm. in every one of them. I into see. the center of the sun. So I there's see. the sun and the dipper. Oh. Okay, of course, there's the logo, the soup can. And it's, they're actually washed with tomato soup. They're washed with tomato soup. They're painted with tomato soup. And then I just did color studies because this was about taking our colors back. These guys have hijacked color. They've hijacked language. They've hijacked words. That's what this is about, taking our colors back. When I did my first dissertation on it, I talked about every color in nature. What well, colors together, they, they, they mean so much together. You know, like black and yellow. I mean, they're so powerful, the bumblebee. You know, so many things, the sun, the yellow. That's why I use yellow. Because yellow is such prevalent color, not just with... Vincent, the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun, the sun. You know, that clean, pretty yellow. But I didn't understand the uh, uh, the dipper part of it. The, the big dots, dipper, yeah. yeah. The dots and and the suns are searched in different locations, if you can see. The suns are different locations, uh -huh. different right. places on the horizon. So right. that's kind of the horizon. Yes. And these people says, oh, they're the towers. No, they're not. But he can say what he wants about it. If they want to be oh. towers, and be the tower. Now, this one's the only one that has a script on it. A song to all and all songs. Oh. That's my look, term that yeah. I came up when we got San Onofre shut down. San Onofre's called Songs. And oh. I came up with that term. You mm. watch those videos. I love those videos I made. A song, mm -hmm. you know, which I was heavily responsible in the shutdown with a lot of other people. San Onofre. Yeah, in San Diego. That's the reaction. We got shut down, which was a big deal. 212. Huh. We got a shut down. That was a major deal. And I did all those videos saying they're never going to realize oh. you're crazy. And I was in critical condition when I was down there doing all that work. You know, really sick. They kicked now me out these before also, the smoke. They also, uh, the, they're different they, reactors. One, two, they're different reactors. There's 14 laying right here right now, 15 counting this original. There's 16 original ones that are yellow. Now, this girl in Brooklyn swiped two. <laughs> now, I'll get back from that freaking girl. <laughs> you got her number, eh? Oh, I got her number. Boy, do I got that. <laughs> and anyway, she thinks she got away with it. She ain't getting away with it. And so, anyway, the other 17 that I'm working on, and I haven't told anybody this, are yellow, blue, and red. They're blood red. One of the the, cloths. The, I'm sunning my cloths right now. Uh -huh. See, I, hung, I where I got this cloth, I got this cloth clear back in the 90s when they tore down the old Nordstrom's or whatever, and this cloth, there was an old roll of cloth laying there that had been there a long, long, long time. And they made all these banners, this artist named Van Campen, who I can really get into her bloodlines, who she was. It was laying in her freaking uh, furniture studio. And that's what's happening all over in West Weber, and there's none. They're all dead. I love jackrabbits. Oh, Isn't that great? Did you get the jackrabbits? Yes, yes, I got the jackrabbit. That's so great. But anyway, back this this one has the color different. studies, I sunned these. I laid these out in the Utah sun for a long time. Back. You know, after oh. Fukushima, because I wanted to get them radiated, like me. And so I got them radiated, and I let them bleach in the sun. I let them stay out there for a year and a half. So that's what I'm doing with the blues and the reds now, and the reds are coming out magnificent. Because I want them to be weathered. And I hunt them on the clothesline the first night because you were mowing your sketches. 
And I'm like, I was like, I ain't taking that. That's a lot of work. Just they might haven't rained in three months. So I laying on the couch, <laughs> down the middle of the night, and I hear this. <laughs> like, oh, no. You didn't lose any in that. Uh... Oh, you know how far away they were? I mean, the wind blip whipped up in there. I found one. I found two of them half a mile away. Really? They weren't in Utah. I found every found one of them. Yeah, okay. But you they were weathered. I was really disappointed. Hey, Kevin, how come you're going with uh, 33 of them in total, or well, 32? Well, here's why I'm going with 33. It's we're 33. all 32. We can get into this. Why Campbell's used 32 and why Warhol used 32? It is the perfect number. 32 is so perfect. 16, 8, 4. I mean, it's beyond prime. It's really a perfect number. That's why grocers and stores use it. Because their machinery, their shelves, their accounting, it's so easy and so perfect. What's the imperfect number? 311s. <laughs> it's so imperfect, 311s. So I want to be abstract. I want to be imperfect like 311s, imperfect, because that's the problem with nuclear. Nuclear, there's the flaw. Humans are flawed creatures, and in order for us to handle nuclear reactors, we have to be perfect. And we obviously <laughs> cannot be perfect. What does what what the famous philosopher say? What did he say? For to err? <laughs> I mean, that's Shakespeare, boys. Human. You know? You're right. That's Shakespeare. To be or not to be. You know, and so... Sweet are the uses of adversity. So 33, which 311s. <laughs> Fukushima happened on 311. I got admitted to the bone marrow transplant center on 11, 11, 11, 311. Thus, 33. The imperfect number. So that's why I have 30 and there's reactors. Now I thought about doing 104 of them, the reactors we have in, U in the United States, but really we have more than that because I use the number 252, which I've changed it to 253 because the reactors are all over the world. Or, I mean, the United States in our dump facility. I mean, we have six of the secret ones in Utah dumping them. They're, they're a nuclear reactor of their own right. When you dump nuclear waste, it's a nuclear reactor in its own right because of the waste, there's no answer, it goes on forever. So. I thought about doing that many, then I did no, 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 no. 33 is the right number. And it's in spirit to, you know, Andy's soup cans. But more than that, the natives used to paint on skins. I really have a heavy influence by Native American art, which rightfully so everybody should. You know, and the shirt wearers, they used to call them. The shirt wearers, that was of the highest moral character. Now, Sitting Bull was a shirt wearer. He got his shirt taken away. One in a thousand was a shirt wearer because of moral character, because he slept with another man's wife, so they took it away from him, but a moral character. ...character, and they would paint on their skins. You know, that's really, that's what I think these things really to me are. I call them my cans, but really they're my they're my skins. I grew up, there were muskrats out there when I was a kid, everyone, and jackrabbits. And people used to trap muskrats, you know, on their skins and skin them, and they're, they're gone now, they extincted them there. And the jackrabbits are extinct in Utah, and they were everywhere, and I love the jackrabbits. So yeah. They're my, one of my favorite creatures. They're majestically fast. And they're great, big, beautiful ears, big, those big old legs. <laughs> And people in Utah are just fun to kill them. Now let's kill them just to watch them die. I've never understood that insanity. You know, it's like we were just having a conversation about cowboy boots. Going to cowboys didn't wear no freaking boots, pointing thing. They wore shoes like these. You know, I grew up on that ranch. You think some cowboy that's out working his ass all day? My grandpa was missing one eye, two fingers, and, you know, drink Lucky Lager with grease on it this thick. I remember when I was a boy, he'd pop it open and say, God, 100 degrees out there. You're dying of fever. Here, boy. That was a cowboy. That's yeah. cowboy living. Yeah, and they wore shoes like this, and they were hard workers. And they were never indoors in the freak. And these tight Wranglers. Yeah. And these pretty. I got, I got a really great rant I go on about pretty cowboys. I think the Garth all, Brooks look a well, cowboy. Well, yeah, I think they're all gay. <laughs> Every one of them is gay, and they can't. Well, there's nothing right if you're gay. Admit you're gay. You know what's wrong with being homosexual? You know if that's who you are. You are. These guys are overcompensating. You know. God, they got perfect hair, perfect pretty shirt, tight <laughs> ring. I mean, they're pretty. They really are. They are pretty. pretty. They are pretty. You know, oh, look at me. They remind me of you know, you know, a girl on the runway. <laughs> pretty cowboys. I'm going on my dissertation well, on pretty cowboys. Soup cans. And the so, number thirty-three as well. And the thirty-three. Yeah, that's the what three it's about. Three elevens here for Kevin. Yeah, is pretty the significant. Number. Now I'm and gonna the, fold this when I do this painting with Ackerman. Let's get this get one. Get my exit out of there, and I'm gonna fold this. This is what originally was, and I'm going to wear it. 
the last samurai, you know, shoguns. Because really, was it the American populace that did it in Fukuoka? Yeah, yeah. Because they have an elitist system that we support and we think, you know, their populace has no clue what's going on on there and they have no political clout, they have no power, they can't do anything about it. They protest it, media won't cover it. Same with here, so, you know, this is what we gotta be. We gotta be the last samurai. I'm gonna get my sword and I wanna <laughs> chop a few of these reactors down. Let's go get them.